Work, folks, some more. Let's play Pokemon Fire Red, the Infirmus Challenge. In the last episode, um, what happened? Oh, yeah, we met some people with gigantic eyes. And I went on my ranting tirade about Zubats. About you should leave them alone. They're good Pokemon. Anyway, let's carry on. We're in the rock tunnel at the moment. And I want to try and find my way out. And there's wild Pokemon here, which really doesn't help. But anyway, it's a, it, it's a matchup. I'm rambling. It's a matchup. It's going to get a horn attack straight in the face. Well, it's close it can get to the face. Low kick. Luckily, Elvis, well, they're sort of, don't weigh that much. And they're sort of strong against fighting type moves, so that's good. Elvis gains more experience. I could really train up here. Oh, ugh. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Punk. Thanks very much, buddy. All right, Hiker Lenny. GD. Are you the guy with, there's always seems to be, in every rock tunnel, or in, in every cave, or in a cave in every Pokemon game, there's a guy with, like, a bunch of Geodude. Like, for example, on the scene, there's always a guy with a bunch of Magikarp. It's like, why? Also, I hate Geodude. <laughs> Double kick. I really feel like actually sending Snowball out here, but I'm afraid he's gonna die. Anyway, level up for Elvis there, that's good. Level 28. Nice upgrades there. Geodude again. Knew it was gonna be Geodudes. I'm gonna bring in Arcana for this one. Because Arcana should be quicker than a Geodude, and Geodudes have very bad special defense. And Arcana's amazing special attack should be enough to destroy this Geodude. Yep. Good. Good. Another Geodude. Yay. I would skip this, but I actually can't be bothered to skip this, so... You guys will see me sort of just owning Geodudes with Psybeam. It's very repetitive, I know, very repetitive. Hey, something different, a matchup, which is weak to Psychic. You still suck, by the way. Psybeam. To the face. That's gotta hurt in the morning. Alright, so, Arcana... Gains more experience. High Kalani defeated. Oh, doll, you win. And there's the Simpsons reference there. I didn't think Pokemon would go that low at one point, but then again, they do have Mega Evolutions now, so yes, they sort of did go that low already. Oh, I need to go up again, don't I? <sighs> All right, Zubat. Who did I put? Up front? I can't even remember who I put. Up front. Oh, Pidge. Okay, I put Pidge up front, probably to get self killed. If it gets hit by a Renegade Rock Throw, by... Why the hell would you use Astonish for? It's normal type, Zubat. I tell you, when I finally train a Zubat, probably not Fang, because Golbat, I believe, has over 400 or whatever. It might not, I don't know. Yeah, right, that's a rock there. Go to the side of it. It's a rock. We know it's a rock. More Zubats. Please can Pidge learn a new move soon, because r really, it, what, Quick Attack, Gust, oh no, Quick Attack, Gust, Whirlwind, and Bloody Sand Attack, come on, it's gonna hurt itself, no it's not, well done Pidge, you, uh, you shocked me right there by not actually hurting yourself, well done Pidge, gotta go this way and down I guess, oh hello, my Pokemon's techniques will leave you crying, Yeah, I'm sort of worried about that. Geodude. I'm definitely worried about it now. 25. Pidge, come out. It's going to use Rock Throw. So I'm going to go into Roid Man. Because Roid Man can take Rock Throws quite well. Rock Throw. Knew it. I knew it. And Rock Moves. Don't really, do, don't really have much effectiveness on Roid Man. Low Kick. Good against heavy Pokemon. Geodude's quite heavy. Magnitude 6. Come on, Roid Man, you can live this. Come on, Roid Man. Live it. Yes. Low kick to the face. Yes. Well then, Roid Man. We survived the Geodude attack. Congratulations to Roid Man there. Hiker Allen defeated. I give. You're a better tactician. Yeah, I still got my ass kicked by, two G by a Geodude before, so, um, um, I, I know how it goes. Right, I'm going to use my super potion, I'm going to use it on 
Roid Man. I'm not going to use one on Elvis because he's at level 28. I'm probably not going to use him as much now. But I am on Roid Man because I'm going to be using Roid Man. Ah. Pretty much just trying to feel my way through this cave at the moment. There's Zubat right there, level 16. Pidge, give it a quick attack. Yes. Pretty much insta kill. Well, would be anyway. Uh, come on. Go down. Oh. More battles. No. Zubat, level 15 again. Last time I did this, I went for quick attack. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. And a critical hit, even though I don't think it was needed. But oh, oh Pidge. Experience for Pidge. We experience the Pidge. Oh, hey, buddy. Sorry, there's sort of a Pokemon in between me and you, so I'm just going to sort of destroy it. Especially now that it's a Geodude. Actually, I'm... Sorry, I'm just going to use Whirlwind. Oh, crap. Come on, Pidge. Yes. Whirlwind it. How in the world is a level 16 Geodude quicker than a level 26 bloody Pidgeotto? Honestly, how in the world does that even work? Right, I'm going to use Roid Man here. Probably a big, big mistake because I bet it's a slow poke or something this guy's got. Oh my god. I actually believe I've gone around a complete circle. I've seen him before. I've gone around a circle. I do not believe it. Yeah, remember when I said I know this like the back of my hand? <laughs> I don't. Alright. Time to use the repel. Wow, okay. Um... I uh, fought you. Am I even going the right way? No, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, go down. Repels effect wore off. Well, bugger that. Alright, go down. Seriously, what the hell happened there? I don't even know. Low kick. I know what's going to happen here. The death of a Geodude, that's what's going to happen here. Hmm. Alright. So forget that I was just a complete moron right there. Yeah, fine. Pokemon cosplay, blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh, Zubat. Probably going to run away from this one. I'd say, personally. There you go. Run away. Right, I'm going to go this way now. I believe it's the way I'm supposed to go anyway. Uh, nope, nope, that's the cosplay guy again. Monkey. Monkey, go away, monkey! Rude man. Run. It's him again! Go away! Leave me alone! Hmm. Where the hell am I supposed to go then? Oh, God. Fine. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. Karate, chop. Joe, if I, I'm, I'm gonna have to use Flash, aren't I, just to make sure I know where I'm going. All right, fine. I've taken this route so many times, yet I don't know where I am. This Let's Play is just full of failures, isn't it? All right, Flash. Who can learn it? Arcana and Titan Aram. Arcana. We're going to get flashed to you. And we're going to replace teleport. Poof. Learn move. I didn't want to do that. I hope I know where the move deleter is. If not, then, well, I'm buggered. <laughs> right. Arcana, help us out. Use flash. Thank you very much. Right. I am going to go this way again. Getting lost. Again. Damn you, monkey. Going to run away from this one. I don't normally run away from Pokemon battles, but I'm going to run away from this one. Oh, I know where I am now, I believe. I was going the right way, and then I just doubled back to myself, I think. Damn it. Did I double back on myself? I did! I doubled back to my- ah. I doubled back to myself. Damn it. Alright. 
Never mind. I know where I'm going now. With that blip just completely sorted, let's use a map chop and chop Geodude into bits with my amazing Rock Smash style karate chop attack. That's its official name now. And I fought this guy as well, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I know where I'm going now. Onyx, go away. Level 13 Onyx, so you're very weak. Cry chop. Yeah, I think I've got like a level 13 Onyx, but that's in the that's in the box. That's for if it's needed, which for the moment it's not. Snowball's doing just fine on its own. Bugger off! Ah! Dear dude. Bugger off you dear dude. Can't believe you're gonna spend like three videos in the rock tunnel. I'm nearly out as well, I believe. I think I've got like one more room to go after this and then I'm out. Or close enough. What's this? Ah, uh, escape rope. That's good, just in case we get into big trouble since I've got rid of teleport. You're the guy with the graveler, aren't you? I'm sorry, like you need to show me some respect. You've got a graveler, haven't you? If I remember from Pokemon Green, you have a graveler. Two Pokemon. Geodude. Alright, maybe you don't. Hiker Lucas. Roid Man. Uh, key over the focus energy. Uh, magnitude 7. Come on, Roid Man, you can live that. You can live that. Come on, Roid Man. Yes. Karate, chop. Yes. It's one dead Geodude right there. This is a Graveler coming up. I know it's a Graveler. Roid Man levels up, level 27. That's good. Two attack, two defense. That's good. Graveler. Knew this was the guy with the Graveler. I'm going to stay in. Because the Gravelers are heavy. So I'm going to go for a low kick. They get a critical low kick. Nope, just super effective low kick, but that's fine. One dead Graveler right there. Roidman gains 600 odd experience for being a Graveler. I give! Damn right you give. Alright. Yeah, we're nearly there. Go away! You've already taken my dignity. What more do you want? Bloody... This, this tunnel has taken my dignity. What more does it want? Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail markers. Or you could, I don't know, get a map. Or just know where you are, have a sense of dire direction. Anyway, Picnicus Sophia has a Jigglypuff. Lovely. Jigglypuff, meet Roidman. Roidman, meet your next meal ticket. Jigglypuff's gonna go for a defense curl. That's fine. That will mean that she'll probably live the next shot I give her, which is a karate chop. Spoiler alert. Um, but, okay, maybe not. But uh, my uh, my critical hit worked quite, quite well. And the ability to stop me talking properly, apparently. Right, Pidgey. I'm gonna stay in. Maybe stupid move on my part. But I'm gonna stay in, karate chop it, and beat it. I had faith in Roid Man's abilities. Next up is a Meowth. I'm again gonna stay in here. And Karate Chop its face. Actually, with that scratch, I should have gone for revenge. Oh well. Anyway. So, well done, Roid Man there. Congratulations. You have beaten a Meowth. You're nearly up to level 28, actually, as well. Oh, I did my best. You did. Fair play. You Well, you got a hit off, at least. That's good. Hiker Man, hello. Oh, can you read my power? Do you want the short answer or the long answer? The short answer is yes. The long answer is yes! Dudley, you have a Geodude. Damn you, Geodudes! Level 21, Geodude. Roid Man. You're up. Karate chop his face. Literally, that was actually a karate chop to the face. Personally, if I took a karate chop to the face, I'd probably be dead too. Not to like the sides what I've noticed, the face. Anyway, uh, Geodude again. Level 28. I'm gonna bring in Arcana on this one. Come on out, Arcana. Show me your Psy Beams. Psychic Beam Stick! And that's one dead Geodude. Well done, Arcana. As I said, if Arcana dies, I think this runs over. That's why I don't want Arcana to die, but its defense is so low. Right, Graveler. I'm gonna go for another Psy Beam. Should be a Graveler in one shot, I'd say. A stab Psy Beam. Yep. With a critical hit as well, that's good. 
Arcana gains a lot of experience for that, and levels up level 28. Very, very nice. Special attack up 3. And we got a defense up. We actually got a defense increase. Oops, outmuscled. Outmuscled by a special attack. No, Roid Man is evolving. I can't let him evolve, because he would go over 400. So, I'm sorry, Roid Man, but I can't evolve you. Can't evolve you. It's against the law. It's against the rules of the of this uh, infamous challenge. It's against the law. It's against the rules. I can't do it. Anyway, monkey. Roid man. Bit annoyed that he couldn't evolve, but if I'm honest, I'm sort of annoyed as well that he couldn't evolve. Hey, buddy. Dear dude. Why have I still got Roid man out? I thought I'd mention that. I mean, he's level 28. I don't have to use him anymore. When you're up on a rocky mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine boulders tumbling down on you? I'd be like, whoa! Total terror. You don't seem to be scared. Wanna try using rock slide? Damn right. This move can be learned only once. Is that okay? Yeah. Who should we give rock slide to? We can either give it to Snowball or Roid Man. We're gonna give it to Snowball because I can see Snowball staying in the team. I can't see Roid Man being staying in the team that long. But rock slide is definitely a good move. And I'm going to get rid of Defense Curl, because, well, if my Snowball's defense is bloody good anyway. Rock Slide! Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Might be scary to use it in this tunnel. Thank you for telling me, but I really don't care. Alright, I'm going complete the wrong place again. Onyx. Level 13 again. Roid Man. Just run from it. It really doesn't matter at the moment. What? All right. No. What? Okay, now I'm getting completely lost. Ah, oh, crap. Fine, fine. You want to play like that? I was going to let you off. Now you're dead. Look who's pro look who's fault that was. All right. Don't even know where I am. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go into Pidge, because probably Pidge is, Pidge is quicker, so I can run away from battles if I want to, which is good. Gee, dude. Right, Pidge, run from this one, because you, you, there's no way you can beat a G dude. No, that's just him again, isn't it? Am I going the wrong way again? Ah, oh, this is annoying me now. I should know exactly where I'm going. But I don't. Ooh, that's where I need to be. Max Ether, that's nice. I gotta go up. Thank you very much, Max Ether, for showing me the way. Another Zubat. Bugger off. Actually, I'm gonna let Pidge fight this one. Quick attack. Ust. Wow. Okay, quick attack to the face. It's one dead Zubat right there. Pidge gains experience. Well done, Pidge. Hey, buddy. You have a Pokedex. I want one too. You ain't having this one. No. I need it to get my experience share. Why is your eye so big, Cooper? All right, he's got Slowpoke. I've got Pidge. Pidge is probably not going to be able to win this battle. Oh, wait. Maybe he will. Tackle. All right, Pidge. Whoa, that was close. Well, actually, no, it wasn't even close, but critical hits are always nasty when they, when you come up against them. Anyway, that's a win for Pidge right there against a Slowpoke. Well done, Pidge. Pidge is impressing me right now. He's actually doing quite well. Yes! Wing attack! Good, I was waiting for a move like that to come along. I'm going to get rid of Whirlwind. Um, I really don't see Whirlwind as being a, using, uh, a move I'm going to use that often, so I'm going to get rid of it and use Wing attack instead. Another Slowpoke. Now I've got Wing Attack, stronger than Gust, does stab damage, so... Go for a Wing Attack, Pidge. Half damage, that's good. Confusion, come on, Pidge, you can live that. You can live that. Yes. Wing Attack again. And he's dead. Good. Right, Pidge should be able to survive the last Slowpoke here. Should be able to live the last Slowpoke, even if it does use Confusion, so... Wing Attack... Yes. Water gun. 
Um, well, I was worried about that for a minute there. Wing attack. Yes! Alright. Pidge, you win. Cooper defeated. Shoot, I'm shoot so jealous. Yeah, you are, aren't you, buddy? Anyway, I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna call it a break here because this is the final part of the rock tunnel. But I'll see you back at the next part of this play Pokemon Fire Red, the Infirmus Challenge. I'll see you then.